preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution when Donald Trump was sworn in on January 20th, 2017, what we heard was this. That sound came from the United States Navy Band. In the background, but ever present, these servicemen and women have witnessed most events throughout our nation's history. We are like the Forrest Gumps of the Navy. We are all behind the scenes. We are at these large scale events. You might never notice us, but we're there. From Super Bowls to Arlington National Cemetery, they have been providing a soundtrack to America since 1798. The band has been so much a part of our nation's history. Senior Chief Musician Michael Bays is the drum major and historian of the band. When you hear sounds, familiar sounds, you feel like you have a piece of home with you. It's part of healing process. And we stand out in Arlington 400 times a year. And every single time we're out there, the music that that family hears provides that comfort and that knowledge to know that the Navy is always there. They're there for the families, they're there for the sailors, they're there for the people that uh, support the Navy. Military music has been a staple of our national identity since the founding of the Department of the Navy in 1798. Today, the U.S. Navy Band has grown to seven ensembles and over 107 enlisted members. Why do you believe it's important to continue the tradition of the Naval Band? Our primary mission is to honor those who have served, and I think it's important to provide that connection. Senior Chief Musician Courtney Williams says music can be a powerful tool in diplomacy. The Navy music program as a whole has the ability to go into places where we can't sh send ships and can create some connections between uh, countries. Vocalist Maya Rodriguez has been with the band since 2013. And I will say that doing this job, one of the things I learned was just a basic national anthem, like 90 seconds of singing, can mean more to people than a two-hour performance. It really does. Everybody has a very deep attachment to the national anthem. Singing national anthems and military songs is a tradition steeped in history. The U.S. Naval Band has traveled with presidents far and wide to represent our national values in foreign lands. I think that more and more as we see countries, either our own country or other countries, becoming divided, we are learning of the power of music to bring things back together. When they aren't performing at high-profile events, the musicians love to share their talents with the public. We caught up with them at the concert on the avenue. Is, a, is one of our big shows. We do six of them a year, and uh, it com it's comprised of three different units from the Navy Band. And then once we hit the stage, it is it is on from beginning to end. The performance had a little bit of everything, incorporating old military favorites and classic crowd pleasers. Uh, music is such an important part of our culture in general. Sometimes, a lot of times, we think of the military as the war fighter, and that is definitely what everybody is in support of. But in order to support the war fighter, what should there be? Music definitely has to have some sort of part in that. So music, military, it, it goes hand in hand. Do you remember the For the PBS Student Reporting Labs, this is Shane Vercast from Washington, D.C.